what's up guys so anyway I'm out scouting for new places and I've come across this huge mansion house that I actually read about in the news that they're actually fixing to demolish for a housing subdivision this place is massive massive I'm gonna bring it right to you and let you see what we're looking at stay tuned So this house is actually set to be demolished and it was actually the only, it was actually a mansion. It was built in the 19, early 1940s by one of the world's most famous big game hunters. This place is huge. We're gonna try to see if we can actually explore it before it, before it's torn down. It looks kinda, kind of rough I mean, let's uh let's take a look look at this place it's huge let's go take a look See, it's pretty much completely gutted out. Um, construction workers have actually been up here clearing land. Look at this. Imagine this place was pretty cool back in the day. In its heyday. Not much left of this place from what we can tell. Pretty much been taken over. It was built in the 40s and the man actually lived here well into the 1970s before it became abandoned. So it's actually been sitting here abandoned almost 40 years. The floor is just about completely gone. You can see what's left. Oh, look what I just found. Okay, so before we go venture down there, I was actually out just driving and I wanted to come by and check it out. Oh, it looks like, oh, that's not good. can see it's it's in bad bad shape I can see why they the city actually decided to go ahead and get rid of the and tear the home down you can see it looks like trees actually fell through the part of the housing and the floor right there is actually caved in as well see okay. so we we may venture down into the basement to see what we can see down there. Wow, look at this staircase. That's cool. Oh, we found the toilet. Careful, I felt the floor did. Turn that off for a second. Feel 
was like the whole floor was about to fall in. It is the floor sinking over there. You can see. Okay, let's keep going. Two floors falling in in that room. I'm not gonna walk in there. Okay, let's go a little farther. All right, I got. I got my buddy who is with us in case something bad happens. There's a shut door. I'm trying to be extremely careful. You can see it goes all the way down. There's another room. You can see. I, mean, I can just imagine how beautiful this house had to be been back in the day. <laughs> the floor in this whole place is sketchy. Okay, so we're not going down those stairs. They actually look in really, really bad shape. Okay, let's see. It looks like the only thing they left behind was the actual old screen door. So this place was considered the mystery mansion of Epping Way, which the house was the house was built and designed in English royalty manner, and it was called Epping Estates, built and named after the famous Epping Forest in England. I get you some more information on the guy that actually make sure these stairs hold and stay to the right. Okay, let's turn some light on so we can see down here. A bottle of mask and gloves. I'm not so sure we'll be able to get back out this way. Let's see what we can figure out. Oh, I just heard somebody sound like somebody talking. Okay, so we'll get out that way. Get this place out. Hello? Anybody down here? Okay. Now down here has a total different vibe. All in itself. The mold looks rough. kicked out so I found where the other stairs come down in this place is cool
just heard some sound like footsteps upstairs, and I know Richard's not in here. There's water standing over there. Okay. So that all looks concrete up there. This, these up there. Oh, cobwebs. Cobwebs everywhere. Alright guys, so if you want us to come back over here overnight, maybe see if we can capture something paranormal, be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment in the description, and we will come back over here and play with the ghost box, see what we can come up with. Be sure to give it a like, and uh, we'll do it for you. Alright, come on, let's check it on out some more. There's the drain in the floor, but obviously it's backed up. It looks like where all the air conditioning and heating work came in at. This place is really cool. Okay. Let's try to ease back up. We'll go up, try to go up these other stairs instead of the ones we came down. Hopefully they'll hold. Let's check this place out from the outside. Kind of make it a little bit, a little bit safer. Cool fireplace. place is certainly cool. Imagine it would have been beautiful in its daytime. In its haytime. Well, that's creepy up there. Looks like something was actually in the window when I first looked up there. Alright. So let's walk around. We're not gonna try to stay too long. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty cool place. Now, the man that owned this also had a country club built that was just across the road that is massive. It is also abandoned now. And uh, we're going to look and see about maybe trying to explore it as well. Perhaps in a later video. Let's go check out what the view would have been like overlooking uh, Wolf River. Because this house actually sat on enough land that their property ran all the way down to the Wolf River which is about another half mile past that building right there behind it really sad to see a place like this go to waste the city should have actually probably done more preservation on it when it became abandoned we could have turned it into a museum or something like that if you like me you could actually picture what this thing must have looked like back in the 50s and 60s 
when it was first built. It had to be beautiful. Imagine being up there in that that window right there. Actually being able to look over and see the the Wolf River. Would have been beautiful. Beautiful house. So that was cool though. I heard footsteps upstairs. I know Richard wasn't in here because this house is actually pretty full of mold. And because of his health, we uh, he actually can't be inside of here. So I know it wasn't him. So it'll be pretty cool. Hopefully it caught on. Uh, I got it on the camera's mic. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, but anyway, be sure to like this video and post in the comments if you want to see us come out here and do a ghost bike session before they tear this place down. The bulldozers and the dump trucks and everything else is out here, so they're going to be tearing it down pretty soon. Give this a like and uh, we'll come back out here. See you soon.